Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disgaea 3, uh, Evil Academy Culture Fair or something like that. <laughs> In the last episode, we found out that somebody was trying to wreck the Culture Fair, and so we began a search of all the classes, even though it is clearly somebody from a rival school, because that is always the culprit. It's like the butler being the killer in a mystery novel. Anyway... Yeah. <laughs> Salvatore is chasing Mao all over the place and Big Star is just watching. Let's go! Sophomore Booth. The Sophomore Booth was... Ah, yes, the super elegant tea cafe. I see. Looks interesting. Featuring zombie maids! Woohoo! However, the waitresses are undertrained. How dare they address me as princess? Make sure they address me as superior. <laughs> Understood. As long as I'm running this place, it shall be a perfect cafe. I shall comply with all of your requests. But now do you understand? How can anyone in such an elegant place conspire to destroy the culture fair? You might fool others, but not me. Anyone who welcomes back somebody to a place they've never been to is obviously up to something! <laughs> To mention, all the food has cursed writing, chanting Moi Moi Kun to cast spells, and confusing all your customers. <laughs> it wouldn't be far-fetched for one of these waitresses to mind control the customers and to destroy the culture fair. You do have a point. Knowing that the culprit is not a senior, this place has become awfully suspicious. Are they just standing on the on the benches? That is patently ridiculous. <laughs> Sprite limitations, everybody. Okay, then as soon as I finish my Cupid Cappuccino and Panda Pancake, I'll make these sophomores. What the hell's going on here, S.A.? Pardon me, sir. How dare you disturb the peace of this calm establishment with your excessive yelling? That didn't sound like yelling to me. How dare us? This is important. I got the zombie just thinking it was deadly disgusting, but it was deadly delicious. Don't get excited about something so stupid. We're discussing important stuff here. If it was deadly delicious, then shut up and die! Oh, Lee, I can't keep my mouth shut! I was gonna complain, but I can't complain about something so cool, well? Are you gonna take responsibility for this? Although it was unintentional, we happened to anger some of our customers. I am sorry for what happened. At our cafe, the customer always comes first. I shall exchange it for something that'll leave you teetering between life and death. More aimless yelling. What is going on here? Mr. Champlu? As a master of kitchen fist fire chaos style, no! As a home ec teacher, I cannot feed my students bad food. As the home ec teacher, you have a point, but this cafe is sophomore class property. As I'm in charge, you must obey me. <laughs> the tables have turned. That request, like a cold heart and stove, is something I cannot accept. Boom! Cooking is serenity. Cooking is risking your life. As long as my heart and soul are in my cooking, I'll never make anything bland! If you really want me to cook that way, I will wager my cooking and heart against you in a cooking battle. Boom! Yeah, the new voice actors are, uh, they're kind of a thing. All who disrupt our teamwork with their selfishness must be punished, even if they are a teacher. 
Think of customers as super overlords. I shall beat you, body and soul, until you understand my customer service philosophy. I don't know, if all of our cus if all of my customers were Red Magnus, I would be kind of freaked out. And now we gotta beat everybody up for no particular reason. <laughs> hey there, Champloo, you have, uh, you have things. What we got here? Attack, attack, heal, defense, shove it, dub, 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 What's this? Encroach, oh man. Alright, well, this doesn't look too hard. Let's just, uh, let's do the thing. This is the list of Geo effects. Remember it! Don't mess you up! Here I go! Just watch! Let's just see how ridiculous this looks with a sword. I'm curious. Oh, okay, she uses a gun. Even though she has a sword equipped, of course. Alright, my curiosity has been satisfied. <laughs> well, let's finish the rest of this off. Ooh. I know what I can do here. Overload! Yeah, Babby! <laughs> I should be ashamed for reviving such an old internet meme, but I should. I'm not. This is just too funny. Anyway, it doesn't look like we were quite able to finish in a turn, but that is a-okay. Let's do the do. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you beat me. As master of kitchen fist fire chaos style, I'll gladly remake the zombie juice. Boom! Come on, zombie maid, get up. There's no time to waste. I'm gonna make the zombie juice from scratch. Boom! Mr. Champloo joined the party. What? Everything is settled. Sorry for the wait, sir. I shall bring you your deadly, tasteless zombie juice. All right, hurry up, Whittle. Everything is not settled. Go find the culprit among the sophomores. Slowpokes, I'm done. During our last fight, I defeated all the sophomores, including the maids. However, not one of them ran off saying, don't think this is over. How very genre savvy of you, Salvatore. You were the one who defeated all the zombie maids. How can you do that to innocent students? It hurts. But if their sacrifice proves that the sophomores are innocent, then I shall accept their fate. You are not the only one who is hurting. Now we have to begin searching the seniors. Oh well! Come! We must head to the senior booth! If the culprits are seniors... Far worse than a million burning squats! Okay, that was a thing. <laughs> so, in the next episode, it looks like we are going to be interrogating the seniors. Good times. See you all then, assuming the thing is still being a thing.